Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, you're going to watch my analysis on gold, silver, euro, Canadian dollar, and British pound. So we're going to discuss them one by one. Uh, for the regular viewers who missed my last week, actually, uh, I missed my last week's and last week's analysis. So uh, apologies for that. Let's continue with our analysis on. Um, gold silver euro canadian dollar and british pound so first of all on the weekly time frame i am bearish on gold i have been saying that when the gold was right at the top and nobody was uh, ready to listen to that it was pretty difficult to call um, call that a reversal is happening and so far we have seen only one thing and the reversal is happening of course so far we have not seen the strength of the trend as far as much we expected but we are going to look into it so i'm considering this whole price movement as wave a wave b and wave c completing a flat correction flat corrections come in all different shapes and forms uh, they can come in this area and reverse they can come down in this area and reverse and they can come all the way down and reverse however we are going to discuss our price target as well for today uh, for the long term <laughs> so in recent terms of price action I have been considering this as a leading diagonal we have wave 1 here wave 2 right over here and uh, after the correction is complete we are heading down to wave 3 as far as correction is concerned uh, we were considering this as wave A wave B and wave C uh, but for the reasons now I have to consider uh, the price action is telling us that our that labeling was a little wrong we have to consider this as wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 right over here so this the impulse com wave it gets completed right over here and I'm considering this whole as wave 2 there is another alternate labeling and I'll come to the point with what I'm favoring right now but there is another possibility is that let's say next few days the prices uh, come back and stay in this support area let me draw that and then we'll delete that let's say that in next uh, about five six days prices decide to fall back on this area and stay above the support and you happen to see that price action in next six seven days if that happens and then we are considering the prices to rush back to create another top a double top with this one in that case of course our labeling would change uh, right now I'm considering that we have kind of uh, uh, arrived at a very important resistance area if you consider this as a resistance area we is a very strong resistance area and I believe that a reversal is already about to happen so I'm right now considering this as wave 2 completion so this hole is wave 1 and this hole is wave 2 I'm completing considering that and I'm expecting that the prices are going to fall back for about next 8 to 10 days next two weeks we can say that and then a jump is expected once again and a lower uh, the sellers should be ready to jump in at a lower level for prices to uh, stay stronger on the bearish trend that's the reason I have attempted that the prices would actually jump off again at this level and then we are expecting that the sellers would come back again in this region and that will be this region right over here so this is the region we are expecting that the price when prices falls back that seller is going to come back again and put the prices further down let's make sense uh, of what i said once again here one by one okay because I, it feels to me that i have just rushed in so <clears throat> as far as this price cor correction is concerned we are considering this as wave a wave b and wave c is that a still a possibility there's a still a possibility but for reasons I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one uh, and an impulsive drop if prices come back and fall in this area right over here then there's a possibility that if they find a support in this area for let's say the next eight to ten trade six to ten trading days then a jump up is expected in that case we will consider this as wave a this as wave B and this as wave C and then of course after the double top has occurred this will be a wave 2 flat correction and you'll expect prices to fall down however this is less likely once again the one that I just explained is less likely to happen it's one of the alternate labeling I wanted to mention it just in case because you're in a very tight price range right now 
a very good possibility is that we have completed a 5 wave structure right at the bottom this is wave 2 which is ending in the wave 4 of the previous 5 wave structure and I'm considering this we have a, we'll have a smaller wave 1 and a correction upward as well so basically I'm expecting that we'll have a triple bottom one right over here one right over here and one right over here when prices go up the sellers should join in at a lower lo lower low level to give us an indication that a stronger trend is indicating downward so that's why I'm expecting the jump right over here uh, no matter what the price leveling is the larger time frame analysis of gold is bearish there is absolutely no doubt about that in my head uh, now some people are not actually uh, able to jump in into the long trends ahead and that's that's what we are seeing right now because of a very very massive uh, very messy structure is called leading diagonal so I'm bearish and this is the forecast or this is the analysis for trend data uh, for gold and silver for short-term trading I'm expecting that this trend this uh, resistance must hold actually the support must hold and that's what I'm expecting that the reversal is already started and we are on our way downward 1845 is the target upward if prices go above 1845 we'll have to look our uh, labeling once again and I'll do an, an anal another analysis on top of what I'm doing right now so 1845 is a critical important price level prices shall not go beyond 1845 let's have a look at uh, and if some of you uh, I want I'm not I'm not I wasn't going to post the price target I've done some more uh, research and the price target for gold is coming to at 1250 to 60 ish area that's our tar target area for price uh, for gold long term uh, this is expected to be achieved in next like 7 to 10 months right so next 7 to 10 months we have already created a, a good base for the price action so this is what I'm expecting and that we are going to expect prices somewhere around 1250 to 1260 area let's have a look at silver things are looking uh, very different for silver it looks like let me show you my weekly chart so the target range of course the down for price movement as I'm expecting is 1668 that's the target range initially I did say that 5 to 15 dollar I looked into it further down and that is five dollar is way too less I don't think so five dollar is gonna happen but right now I'm expecting that we are considering this whole price movement as wave one and this as wave two so I'm considering this as wave A wave B and wave C of a flat correction the price trend that started right from over here I believe has already completed so I'm calling it as W X and Y and this is next one and two and then we will expect definitely a higher highs so this is gonna be our one this is gonna be wave two right over here and then you expect three four and five and what I'm going to expect what I'm expecting right now is that what we'll see as three four five is only going to be the wave one of a higher degree so I'm expecting a lot of strength in precious metals uh, and once we reach five there's a possibility that we might see a correction and then head upward there's a possibility there's another possibility that the prices cross above the previous top create a wave 5 and and then fall back uh, on this support area to give us a correction so right now this is a little too longer what I'm expecting in precious metals definitely next 8 to 10 years I'm strongly bullish on precious metals one of very interested comment was made about um, what is I'm um, what is my macro outlook on US economy and uh, we'll discuss that in in today's video I'm not going to discuss the chart but I'll present my views so on the shorter time frame if you look at the analysis what I'm expecting right now is that I'm expecting this that the price is gonna come over here and a smaller degree we might create a support action come out right over here and I'm expecting that the sellers should come in uh, the buyers should come in at this range and then of course we are expecting the uh, this price behavior this right over here or this right over here so sellers sh must come in at a lower price degree uh, at a lower price level to continue the trend and that's what I'm expecting this is lower time frame analysis on a daily time frame I'm expecting that we are going to continue the downtrend till we hit actually 1668 and this is my target for for silver 
for gold as I mentioned now we are looking at 1250 uh, as our target as far as cycle analysis is concerned I believe that we have completed the bottom for silver already this is what most of the things are pointing and as far as gold I believe that we will actually complete the bottom right over here so that's the difference between gold and silver right now and this is one of the re reason why we actually did not see a follow through in the prices of uh, silver let's have a look at the price of uh, euro I have been mentioning that we are bearish on silver I mean on euro and we should get a point a chance to uh, if we get a chance to short euro we should do that we are waiting for the setup to occur I believe the setup is right now complete uh, we have seen the support and we have also seen the support coming in at the, in the diagonal angle I believe that we are heading right now for the down when prices fall further down a retest of this area is expected strongly because you can see we have one two and three this is pretty strong support area so I'm expecting that the euro will fall further and a retest is expected and will fall further down so I'm bearish this is daily time frame this is, I'm bearish on euro in near term let's have a look on weekly time frame I'm expecting that we have completed wave one right over here and this is going to be wave two which is basically a flat correction wave a right over here wave b right over here wave c right over here wave c as you guys can see wave three three and five wave structure so we will five is expected to be wave c is expected to be a five wave structure i'm not expecting a lot of depth in it i'm expecting that it should find a support on this trend line and then we will see pretty shaky price movement especially in this region lots of people will get confused so this price movement will be very shaky uh, like just like this price movement right over here a lot of overlapping is expected especially in the later stage of the price movement and then we'll see strap prices move on three four and five so next let's say three four years I'm I'm bullish on euro bus next uh, let's say four to four months three to four months streams very very bearish on uh, very strongly bearish on euro and we have already get, got our uh, short trading setup so this is what I'm expecting you can actually draw a trend line right from over here and that might benefit you as well let's have a look at Canadian dollar Canadian dollar is also uh, very interesting when the prices went up I said we should wait for the pullback and then wait for the um, buyers to wait for the sellers to come in and then we are basically expecting the prices to go up right over here remember this is an upside down chart for Canadian dollar so it looks like Canadian dollar is going to get weaker further we have already completed a very nice uh, flat correction it looks like we are very very close to completion so this is wave A this is wave B and this is wave C it looks like that we have already probably completed the correction and then we are heading upward so for Canadian dollar my uh, nearest outlook is that we are going to get weaker and weaker in Canadian dollar as far as the weekly time frame analysis is concerned I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one pretty nice channel that we can see it has actually got broken and right now prices went up and fall back it has a very very good chance for buyer on this chart and then we should go long and the initial price target probably should be in this region and then the further if you push it down that should be the price target uh, next few years I'm expecting that we are going to be wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and then wave 5 right over here so I'm bearish on the chart giving an indication that Canadian dollar is going to be stronger for next few years uh, as more demand in commodity is expecting and as we know Canada and Australia are all commodity based currencies so a lot of strength is expected to come back in Canadian dollar and Australian dollar but for for near term on a daily daily time frame the setup is definitely indicating that we have considered double top and double bottom it's a very good indication that we have probably completed a w here we get can say a b and c a w this is an x and another y is expected the let's have a look uh what the hell did i do with that over here this should be a this should be b and this should be C and I stated this is W this is X another Y a zigzag pattern is expected this is a very very good trading setup for Canadian dollar 
British pound once again we have once prices was trading right right over here a couple of weeks ago I completely said that we should wait for the selling setup and the setup is coming in action if you want to trade that setup uh, why not if you want to wait then you gotta wait for a while if you want to trade the buyer the leg upward is a very good indication as well and I left this chart um, totally unlabeled and I thought I'll uh, do one analysis in front of you guys so from 2019 onward I'm looking this price action we have seen this kind of price behavior I'm expecting this is a 5 wave structure right over here this is what I'm considering with it so you basically find an extreme uh, where is it? you basically find an extreme and then you see price action so I'm considering this as a 5 wave action I've also seen the historical price movement it looks like we have created either extreme one over here or over here in both cases we can consider this as a 5 wave price action which probably topped out right over here so we have come out of the channel which is very very nice and then we have to actually say what's happening not only we have to come out of the we have come out of the channel we have also com completed a pull up a correction uh, for this price movement and it looks like we are creating a flat correction wave A wave B and wave C within that correction we can see that I'm expecting some behavior like this I'm expecting a pull back in the prices and the price is heading upward so this is uh, this looks like that Canadian uh, sorry British pound is uh, more up for for now but for next few days are very important for prices to go up we should find a definitely good strong support in this region right over here so I'm bearish in next couple of days and then after that I'm bullish and once that has happened is going to generate a very very nice trading setup for bears You see what I mean? This is probably W. This will probably X, and then we'll see another uh, a a zigzag uh, correction as well. So let's have a look at. I'm considering this as wave one. Uh, actually, this is wave one. This is wave two, and then wave three and four and five. Let's have a look at the weekly time frame. this is gonna be wave 4 and this is gonna be wave 5 give me a moment let me just get the thing as you guys can see that I'm actually uh, bullish on the dollar index currencies in the long run for uh, and I'm expecting that there'll be weakness in a dollar index and I'll come to the point just give me a moment so I'm right now considering this price movement as a zigzag pattern right over here this one so this one is flat correction right over here wave A, wave B and wave C and after that is complete we are expecting another zigzag pattern okay alright let's talk about uh, US economy for a while as you guys can see that all of my analysis is pointing towards one thing that precious metals in the long run especially next seven to eight years or maybe 10 years to 12 years are expected to be very very strong a lot of inflation talk that has been happening it is definitely going to kick in but the market timing is extremely extremely difficult <clears throat> so whatever the factors is the historical price action uh, the labeling of Elliott wave analysis whatever the reason could be in the future the labeling is indicating or the study of Elliott wave analysis is indicating the next 8 to 10 years are going to be very strongly bullish for precious metal that includes platinum gold and silver I'm expecting that probably we'll see a lot a lot stronger gold as compared to silver there is definitely going to be strength in silver but things are indicating that gold probably will skyrocket silver will be very strong as well skyrocket or not we are not sure about that but I'm expecting that when silver goes up the upward price is expected to be above than fifty dollars per ounce where could it go we are not sure about it but for gold I'm definitely looking at somewhere around 
$4,000 an ounce after the bottom has created uh, somewhere around 1250 so this is we are talking about next 8 to 10 years now for some of you guys who have seen actually the last century's price behavior and the economy uh, study as well in last whole century there was a huge massive drop in the uh, crash in, in the Dow Jones there was a crash that happened and almost 90% of the 90 to 95% of the uh, share value was dropped in Dow Jones. This was happened in 1929. It took another 10 years. Uh, this was called, called uh, depression of about 10 years. And I'm expecting the things are actually pointing towards that. When gold goes up, silver goes up, dollar index basket currencies are bullish, are looking bullish, all of them. That means dollar is going to get weak. US dollar is get, going to get weak in next 8 to 10 years or you can say next four to six years at least it's too difficult to give a time span but US economy is definitely lo looks like that because of a lot of a lot of uh, money printing is going to shrink how exactly it's going to happen uh, we'll see further but I'm looking like and I'm myself concerned I'm uh, I stay in Canada we will next door to US it's bad news for common people Things are not looking really great as far as the economy is concerned. Really hope so that my analysis would be wrong, especially the uh, economical outlook is concerned. For next 8 to 10 years, I'm going to be bearish on Dow Jones. I would try to stay away from the expensive uh, stocks. Commodity based, commodity -based uh, uh, companies, definitely. I'll stick with them and I'm looking value in those stocks. Thanks for listening. Have a good one and bye-bye.